Hello everyone, this is Namagdi from the Coin Dictionary, and today we'll be looking at this uh, tools what a coin from Poland from 2006. As you know, we'll be going over its mintage, data, history, and so on. So yeah, let's just start. So as you can see, this is a bimetallic coin, and the inside is from copper nickel. The outside is uh, from aluminum bronze. Uh, which, by the way, uh, tones and uh, loses its luster extremely easily. So one with uh, luster on both uh, metals uh, is quite rare and means the coin is in really uh, good uh, shape, which is, as you know, quite desirable. There's also the thing how uh, this uh, copper nickel part uh, oxidizes uh, qu uh, way quicker than the outer part so if it uh, stays in the ground for a long time uh, like this one and uh, the inside gets uh, brown quite fast mm, maybe not quite but uh, yeah it gets brown unlike the outer part which despite of losing its uh, luster very quickly uh, stays the same color yeah, just uh, a nice detail I thought uh, I will add. So yeah, this coin uh, weighs uh, 5.21 grams. Uh, its uh, thickness is 2 millimeters and the edge is just smooth. And the diameter is 21.5 millimeters, which means it is almost exactly the same size as a US nickel. So, uh, if you are hunting uh, coin roll hunting nickels, you have some chance to find this coin, which is actually quite nice since uh, its uh, face value is uh, something uh, slightly uh, above a half dollar, which is <laughs> nice uh, since this coin is just so much smaller than it. Uh, because of that, unlike the half dollar, uh, it is used uh, really commonly and you can see it uh, here every, every day. Okay, uh, let's move on to the uh, overview. On the reverse, let's start with it since it's showing up right now. There are two oak leaves, denomination two or dwa in Polish. Złote, this is how you spell this word, złote. Uh, some uh, reading or I don't know how to describe it stripes uh, vertical here and horizontal here and uh, uh, some uh, engraving resembling a tool uh, the obverse looks like uh, on any modern Polish coin or Rzeczpospolita Polska or the Commonwealth of Poland around the Polish coat of arms the mint mark right here and the date below. And the designers for this coin uh, were Ewa Tyskarpińska for both sides. Uh, now, the most interesting aspect about this coin in particular, the mintage 2006 and 2005 are key dates. Uh, both have only 5 million minted of uh, these, uh, which is around 6 times less than uh, other years, sometimes more, sometimes less, but are remarkably rare compared to others. Uh, the coin in this condition, this is AU or XF, I don't know, uh, it's hard to tell in this coins due to the uh, lack of cluster on this uh, ring. Uh, it's worth only face value, as I said, something uh, around half dollar, slightly more. Uh, but uh, in high mint states, uh, the price of this coin can go up to 8 or even 10 dollars. Quite nice, if you ask me. So, you just should know uh, what to look for if you are uh, going to Poland and uh, looking through coins there. Yeah, I may add that this coin has a very slight uh, mint error. And this uh, copper nickel core should touch this uh, pin edge, uh, but it doesn't uh, right here. Uh, in 
this uh, magnitude uh, nobody would pay any attention to it and it doesn't give this coin uh, any additional value but if it is really severe like if the core is uh, reaches right here or so you are looking at a serious error and it uh, may catch some nice uh, price for it so yeah uh, thank you for watching this is honestly one of my favorite uh, modern bullish coins Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Christian and I own The Coin Dictionary and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, coinsmetalscards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.